please turn up the volume for this. Because I want to talk about no labels, the group that is considering running a so-called bipartisan unity ticket for president in November. All sorts of critics think a third party candidate like this could hand the election to Donald J. Trump. And tonight we've got an 11th hour exclusive. Third way, a well-regarded center-left think tank is sounding the alarm about this plan. Tomorrow it is sending a message, a memo, excuse me, to Wall Street leaders who are potentially big donors and the business community. And we've got a first look. It reads in part, we urge prospective donors to do the same due diligence they would do with any investment. Why? Because despite no labels, high-minded claims, the experts who don't work for them have determined their effort is doomed. Joining me tonight, Matt Bennett, former White House Deputy Assistant and Democratic Strategist. He is now Executive Vice President for Public Affairs at Third Way. Matt, I, I appreciate you coming here and talking about this with us. Why did your organization think you had to send this out? Why now? And why is it that Wall Street, right, the guys who consider themselves the smartest guys in the room, don't actually know how the electoral process works? It's just amazing stuff. You know, we have been pounding on the kind of political community about the danger of no labels for about a year now. They announced that they were going to run a third party candidate in a David Brooks column in September of 2022. We became quite alarmed by that for all the reasons that you've been talking about on this show, which is that in a head to head race or a race where there's just some gadfly candidates, third party candidates, we believe Joe Biden wins. We, he beats Donald Trump. But if there's a third party that is purportedly moderate, it is incredibly dangerous. And all of the experts, including experts at NBC, have looked at this, have concluded two things. One is there's absolutely no way a third party candidate could win the election, but there is every possibility that they could hand the election to Trump. And the reason that we're sending this note out to folks on Wall Street and others in the business community is because they're the ones funding this right now. This is not some grassroots operation like Ross Perot was back in 1992. This is an elite concoction, and it's been funded by very wealthy people. And we're trying to talk to those people and make sure they understand the risk. But why? Why are they getting snookered by this? Why don't they understand how the process works? Like, yes, in a cocktail party, it, you know, in Nirvana, you could say, yes, the American people, we should have more choices than that. But why aren't these people with big, big bank accounts actually understanding how this works? It's a mystery to me. These are people that spend all day asking critical questions of the but people not who on want this. their money. You know, and they, they, they look very hard below the hood at everything that they're going to invest in, except apparently for this. Because if they took one peak below the hood of this, they would see how completely bananas it is. I mean, No Labels has put out a map purporting to show how they could win 270 electoral votes, something no third party candidate in history has ever come close to doing. That includes, by the way, Teddy Roosevelt, who was carved into Mount Rushmore. So they said they're going to win 270 electoral votes. But if you look closely at their map, they have to win states that Joe Biden won in 2020 by more than 20 points. That That is not going to happen. And there's a million other reasons. So our memo to them is simply an effort to kind of shake them awake and say, you have to look at this more closely. This isn't going to work. So who is no labels, right? You say that the operation is a chaotic mess. I am desperately curious because all sorts of Wall Street guys who have given them money in the last year have said to me, you got to get to know no labels step. You should have Nancy Jacobson on your show. And I have invited her on television every single day for the last year and a half and gotten bupkis back. So who is this organization and why on earth are they so mysterious? And again, Nance, the water's warm. Come on over. Uh, you know, this is what we get all the time with them. They won't debate us either. Uh, they're an organization been around about 13 years or so. Nancy Jacobson is the founder and the CEO. Uh, she and uh, a small group of her team uh, were working on a bunch of things that were actually relatively constructive for most of their existence. They work with a group in Congress, a bipartisan group called the Problem Solvers. They were really trying to foster bipartisanship there. But then they got this idea in their head to run a third party candidate for reasons that we don't understand. Because if you look at no labels and you and you ask them what they want in a president, 
like Joe Biden is like the platonic ideal of a no of a no labels president. He is a moderate uh, by you know sensibility. He has governed as a moderate. Every bill he has signed has been voted for by people like Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema. We do not understand what their problem is with Joe Biden. And obviously, on the other side, you have this incredible threat to the republic and to the globe in Donald Trump. So if they were to do this anytime, this is exactly the wrong time for them to be doing it. And it's unbelievably dangerous for them to be doing it now. I was just astounded. Joe Lieberman went on CNBC this week and actually said, if they cannot find a top quality candidate, they won't do this. No, duh. I mean... Were, were you thinking, no, you're going to get a second rate one and go for it? It is astounding to me. Well, thank you so much for being here. You are welcome to come back anytime. And good luck with your memo. See if people. Thank read you it. so much.